if Boeing can get above this 50-day moving average, we started seeing um, 240, 242.50 uh, weekly call buyers coming in. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. So if I had to kind of rewind last night's video and basically take the first 13 minutes and put it into today's video, I would just cut my video by two minutes and you know, just go strictly for the stocks we're looking to watch. We're, we're in a really uh, tight concentration distribution channel, guys. This is just obvious. If you looked at last night's research, last night's video, we talked about beta names were dead, right? They're just literally going sideways. They're not going up, they're not going down. We started talking about looking at alternative names to kind of to, to kind of trade, right? You know, if that, is, if that is your thing, looking at names that may be coming out of channels that a lot of people are not watching or most people are not watching. And that's kind of where we are today, right? If you look at uh, the Dow, you know, again, nothing, right? I mean, nothing to talk about here. We talked about, uh, we talked about this last night. They're just kind of buying time. The Dow is up 150 points. Yeah, the NASDAQ down uh, 80, 90 points, whatever the case may be. Yeah, the SPY's up a little bit. And, and again, that's where we are. Look, again, guys, look at these distribution channels. Look how tight the ranges are just for the last, for the exception of, was it, uh, six days ago, right? Look how tight the channels are on the spies. These are the spies, right? This, this is, you know, this is a vehicle that's, you know, $440 a share, and look how tight the average true range is. So if the average true range on the SPY is gonna be that tight, well, what do you think is gonna happen for the rest of the market? If you look at the Qs, and again, remember, the Qs have the most violent, aggressive, and the largest average true range vehicles on the planet, pun intended, Tesla, right? Tesla, Amazon, Facebook. And look again, for the exception of today, where they, they kind of expand a little bit lower, we'll talk about that the ramifications in a second. Look what the Qs have done for the last three to five days, for the exception of that gap down uh, five, six days ago. So that's where we are. We're in the doldrums of summer. We're on the last uh, inning before kids go back to school. It's kind of like a broken record. And our job, especially again, when, when, you, when you're in that three to five year window, or one to three year window, you're not seeing the market for uh, what it was because you don't have you don't have the experience yet. You don't have the screen time yet. You haven't went through distribution channels. You haven't gone through rolling tops, rolling bottoms. All you know, especially uh, if you started in the last four and a half years, is all you know is buy the dip, Bitcoin, blah blah blah, currency, schmurrency, all time high. That's all you know. So you, you, there, there is, and it's not your fault. There's no. There's no experience level for you to kind of draw back and to back test and say, well, what happened the last time, you know, last summer or two summers ago? Like, what happened? What did I go through? And once you start realizing that there is a valid area in your career, especially it's going to happen when pretty much everybody's going to go on vacation or is on vacation right now, and you see these channels contract, 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 your job is not to sit there and go, well, the market's open. Uh, as Jim Cramer, you know, famously once said, there's always an opportunity somewhere. That's nonsense because that opportunity is not going to fit your specific types of stocks you trade. Yeah, maybe Home Depot is strong one day. I'm not trading Home Depot, right? Maybe, you know, Jerkcoin or, or, or Dickcoin is strong. I'm not going to trade Dickcoin. I have nothing to do with Dickcoin. So it's very, very important to understand every single day is not an opportunity because your, your process is not going to be fully highlighted for, the, for that day. And if Amazon is sitting in a $9 channel all day and Netflix is sitting in a $3 channel all day and the Qs are sitting in a $2 channel the whole day, again, you can't squeeze water out of a rock. So the idea that every single day you could wake up in the morning and turn around and say, wow, this is going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day based on the previous night's research. It's going to be a big day if the previous night's research warrants a channel to expand. And it's going to be a great day if you let that research 
confirm organically. If you just wake up in the morning and say, well, I don't get it. Last week, uh, Tesla at, at 715 was good. Why is it not good today at 715? It's different channels, right? It's different intervals. The sentiment has shrunk. The vol volatility has shrunk. The participation in the market has shrunk. Don't believe me. All you have to do for all you guys who have option scanners, I don't care if it's uh, Cheddar, if it's uh, Trade Alert, if it's Flow Algo, Black Box, Green Box, Blue Box, whatever the hell it is, right? You, you, you'll see the lack of institutional money flow today all day. All the orders I've been seeing, and again, there's some orders, of course, six figures or so, but you're seeing so many retail orders in the market, in the options market, 12,000, 16,000, 30,000, right? It's telling you that institutional money right now is soaking up the last a bit of sun. It's sitting there right now, kind of sitting on the beach, waiting for after Labor Day. They put their money to work in the fourth quarter. Remember, the fourth quarter is traditionally a very, very aggressive quarter. You're talking about Halloween spilling over to the quote unquote Santa Claus rally to this quote unquote uh, January effect. And hopefully the first quarter kicks off without a hinge. But they know there's, there's greener pastures. They know there's absolutely no reason to look at a market right now that Apple's going sideways, uh, NVIDIA's going sideways, Facebook's going sideways, uh, you know, Microsoft's going sideways and say, there's no rush, right? There's nothing imminent for me to put my money to work. I'll, it'll wait two weeks. It'll wait three weeks till everybody comes back. And I think that's when you'll see the natural market. Again, can you find pivots? Of course. We, we talk about this every single day. Of course, there's opportunity somewhere. We'll get to the individual pivots in a second. But you got to be an adult, man. You, you, you really got to be an adult. You see 30, 40, 50 year old people acting like children because they can't get a trade every 30 seconds. It's ridiculous. Okay, you will never meet your potential. You'll never reach your potential if you continuously drive your car 100 miles an hour in rush hour traffic in midtown Manhattan. It's not going to work. You're not going to go anywhere. And it's so important to kind of shift gears. So for what a lot of people, and unfortunately, social media is like the only the only outlet some of you guys have. Um, the only thing you see is buy, sell, buy, sell. If something's going on, I, I have to catch up to performance. I have to, uh, I have to make, you know, make sure that the bright lights, I'm catching up to the bright lights and you don't realize everybody's looking at the same market. Everybody has exactly the same data. So if a stock is trading in a two hour, ch in a two, $2 channel for six hours, I promise you there's not a $9 move in the stock. Well, there will be as, as soon as participants return and the option order flow gets very, very aggressive. Absolutely, but you have to be an adult. Okay, the part, the hardest part of trading is patience. You, everybody uses the word patience. Be patient for this. Be patient for that. Unfortunately, when you're one to three years in this business, you're not, and this is not to your fault, right? You're just lacking this screen time. You're lacking the experience. You don't know the difference between an aggressive curve than something that's contracting. Again, nobody's bothered to sit down to you and tell you, hey, there's two separate markets here. Distribution and a green light. Distribution and a green light. And a green light doesn't mean up. Green light might mean down or technical damage uh, of daily support. So it's so important, crucial that if you want to actually do this for a living and the difference between doing this for a living or buying a stock once in a while is letting the market participate, right? Letting the market participate through a bull market, distribution market, a bear market, and everything in between. Again, like we say all the time, you want to trade, but you don't have to trade. You need to trade, but you really don't need to trade. So it's so important, guys, uh, every single day, look at the landscape, read the market sentiment, and if your process is not being highlighted, there's nothing wrong sitting it out. I say this every single day. It's not a sign of weakness that you don't have 17 positions on by 931. It's an act of maturity. Again, remember when a guy, you know, when a guy like uh, maybe Barry Bonds is a bad, you know, bad, um, you know, a, a, a bad example. A lot of people still have a bad taste in their mouth. But when Barry Bonds was going up to, to the plate, he wasn't looking for a home run every single time. Remember, before his head went nine feet wide and you know looked like a looked like looked like a like a dinosaur. The guy was a 350 hitter before the steroids, right? He's looking for contact. And the only way you can get contact is waiting for your pitch. It's crucial for your development and it's super crucial for your survival. Going to, in tomorrow, I, I kind of want to look at both sides of the market, right? You know, I did find some names, even though we're kind of going sideways on most indexes. Excuse me. I did find some ideas, both long and short. Boeing, I really like, right? Uh, Boeing looks really, really good. If you guys have been watching this video or just any anything to do with me, you know how significant the 50-day moving average is. As you can see, Boeing got rejected off the 50-day once, twice, 
three times, today's the fourth time, right? If Boeing can get above this 50-day moving average, we started seeing um, 240, 240, 250 uh, weekly call buyers coming in. If Boeing can just reclaim this whole 50-day moving average, there's a lot of room upside, right? It looks really, really good. Uh, you look at a name, for example, like a microchip, right? MCHP, which is a semi. Again, a lot of these semis, started breaking down right like like really getting hit this is not one of them you know in, in case the market is strong and there's a bias back to the semiconductors keep an eye on mchp like look at this look at this nice little flag on right there's something to to develop there uh, i'm not going to mention you know who right uh you know the greatest stock ever you know the most hated and loved stock ever because i figure if i don't mention it on tonight's update maybe it'll finally confirm tomorrow if you don't know what i'm talking about that's okay right that's okay <laughs> so i'm hoping to kind of belichick uh, the market gods and not mention my favorite stock of all time. Maybe finally in this lifetime or the next is spoken by the greatest uh, General Maximus and Gladiator, right? I will have my revenge in this life, lifetime or the next. Maybe finally tomorrow links up. Can't say the name. Top secret information. But look at some names to the downside, right? You got Amazon post nasal drip of earnings. You know, again, it's really not that far from breaking down. When you look at a name uh, like Roku, right, had earnings, you know, initial reaction was not horrible. And then again, this thing is maybe one day away from breaking down. You look at Netflix, right? Netflix, you know, held the 50-day moving average. If this thing loses the 50-day tomorrow, maybe this thing will go down as well. Look at a name like, you know, CPRT, right? Not usually a name that I, that I follow, but this thing just broke its uptrend today. If this thing confirms down. Look how much room you have to the downside. So there's definitely names to watch to the downside. A uh, smaller name like a GoGo, for example, had good option flow today to the upside. Uh, Boeing looks pretty decent to the upside. There's, there, there is some value, but again, it's not going to be the whole... Uh, if you if you watched a lot of my videos in the past, there's some days that are so obvious, and I say, look, you don't have to be creative, right? Beta, just buy beta, or you don't have to be creative, short beta. You got to be creative, right? You got to be creative. You have to understand you don't need to trade every single day. And the most important part is, again, live to fight another day when there's better potential and the channels are starting to expand. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Again, you're not going to have a lot, right? Don't look at the stock, right? We don't want to. We don't want to look at the stock. My favorite stock. Don't look at it. Don't look at. It. We won't even talk about it today, right? Again, like I said last night in the video, you're not going to get ten dollar moves, right? You, you know, tear down your size, tear down your expectations. You know, can you get a move today? Fifty cents, a dollar? Yeah, maybe, right? Maybe. But the point is, don't think for a second that you're going to sit there in a distribution channel trying to get twelve dollars out of a trade. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. But you probably won't. So let's talk about it. Blink. Uh, 37 needs to build, right? Blink. Uh, again, not a big move. And that's the whole point. Not a big move. Uh, ran up about 50 cents. The good news is the first close over the 50 day moving average. Uh, it is part of the whole, uh, what is it called? The infrastructure, EV bill, blah, 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 blah. You know, again, look, if it starts taking out today's highs tomorrow, can this thing stretch out? Yeah, possibly, right? Possibly. Keep an eye, uh, definitely keep an eye on that. Um, QS never confirmed. Uh, Sava had a nice little pop. Again, nothing huge, but had a nice little pop. 106.50, 107 uh, needs to build. Here was Sava, right? Here was Sava. It took out the 106.50, 106 107. Uh, traded to about 110. I still like it, right? We talked about it last night in the video. It still looks like you get up to one, you know, 112 before the next supply. Again, you know, again, nothing crazy, but it's a thin, thin stock. Uh, Snap was really good today. We talked about Snap briefly last night on the video. I think we did. Uh, 79.20, 79.50 needs to build. Here was Snap, right? Snapchat had a good distribution uh, after earnings, took out the 79.20, 79.50, and went to almost uh, 81, right? Went to almost 81 uh, before the move uh, back down with, with pretty much everything else. Again, this is what the sporadic market is. Uh, Dell never reclaimed. It hit 99, and just again, it needs to it needs to close over that 99. Uh, Amat never got there. VXRT traded there pre market. Didn't do anything in the open market. Zoom never gave a second entry. Letter U came out with earnings after the close. I still like this level, but it got nowhere near it. Uh, let's keep an eye on that. Again, nice move on that. Apple Apple was so strong this morning, right? It was. When everything was selling off, it was sitting there 47 and a half, 47, 60. And I said, look, 148 got rejected three times. If it builds above, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 whatever. It sold off. Again, there's not any, there's no fear in this tape. There's no aggression in this tape. It is what it is. So here is, 
I, I literally went into I literally went into Tesla three times today. Literally three times today for experienced traders only. Seven hundred three if it builds below it can flush, right? Just to give you an idea how short, how tight the market is. So I short the stock. It goes down like like about a dollar. They hold it. It snaps back, right? Keep this in mind. Okay, made, made a cup of coffee, right? Made a cup of coffee. Then look, held the bottom channel. Seven fifteen three times pre market needs to build. Blah 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 blah. So I buy it off seven fifteen. Goes to like. It goes a little under 717. I take a little bit of cash flow, blah, 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 break even on the bounce. So you could see how tight everything is. And that's the whole point, folks. It's tight. You know, when things expand, it's going to be great. But for now, take cash flow, right? Take cash flow weight where you got it. Use break even as you stop. You don't need to quote unquote kill it. <sighs> right? Just be an adult. Treat your money like your children. You wouldn't do anything to your children that's going to jeopardize their long-term health. And again, this is where I continue to, to write, to echo. You know, market continues to be sloppy. There's no fear from the bears. There's no follow-through from the bulls. Until this narrative changes, go into scalp mode, tear down your size. Again, everybody's looking at exactly the same tape. Uh, and that's it, right? So again, going into tomorrow, I'm open-minded. I'm watching the shorts. I'm watching the longs. You know, we'll see how long this distribution cycle lasts. Um, usually it lasts about a week, right? I think we're like in day three, okay? Would it shock me for the rest of the week? It would not shock me, but I think we have to be open-minded, trade both sides of the market. Guys, keep a chin up. There's, there's, there's rosier days ahead. There's better days ahead. Your job is to make sure that you see those days. Guys, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.